Good afternoon and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief for Wednesday, April 6th. I'm Alex Amico and here are today's top stories. Republican presidential candidate John Kasich is coming to Syracuse. The Ohio governor will hold a town hall meeting on Friday at nearby Lemoyne College ahead of the New York primary on April 19th. James Walsh represented the Syracuse area in Congress for 20 years and has endorsed Kasich. He will also introduce the governor at the campaign stop. Kasich plans to make his way around upstate New York after his Salt City visit. Locals had the chance to hear from former Secretary of State and UN Ambassador Madeleine Albright last night. The first female Secretary of State spoke at Hendricks Chapel as part of the Tanner Lecture Series. Citrus TV reporter Mike Riccardi has the full story on Citrus TV News Live at 6. New York Starbucks lovers will now get to experience the coffee store in a new and larger way. The coffee store announced it will open up the biggest ever location in Manhattan in 2018. The 20,000 square foot venue will allow customers to see the roasting process firsthand in addition to the usual cafe. And several United Nations peacekeepers are under investigation on rape and abuse allegations in the Central African Republic. UN official Jane Hall Lu traveled today to the country to gather more information. CNN has said reports showed that hundreds of women and children have suffered the abuse for at least two years. Take a look at the weather. It is currently 41 degrees and cloudy in Syracuse. The temperature is expected to stay about the same throughout the night, but wind gusts are projected to pick right back up. Citrus TV weather anchor Nick Ross will have more live at 6. And that's all for your Citrus TV News Brief. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for all the latest on the SU campus. And we'll see you in an hour for Citrus TV News Live at 6 with Hunter Signs and Max Darrow. I'm Alex Amico. Good night, Syracuse.